Good morning, traders. This is Michael coming to you from Game Edge on August 30th, Wednesday, August 30th, as we head into the end of the month. Uh, today we'll be looking at the uh, market structure. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the uh, tick market model and then taking a look at the pre-market uh, price action. Unlock your potential with a comprehensive suite of investing tools and expert education with Gamma Edge. Start your free 14-day trial today. We'll go ahead and jump right into it. Obviously, the Gamma Edge summary for today, uh, 8.30 uh, market model um, bullish CT. Uh, we still have the ribbon that is off, but we're looking for a transition for the slopes as the CT is starting to merge above the colored ribbon. So hopefully that'll be changing to a positive slope if that continues above the colored ribbon. Make sure you understand the tag combos. Those are posted uh, with definitions in uh, multiple channels. If not, uh, ask questions and we'll get you pointed in the right direction. Tag combos have been back tested and just give us an average uh, rate of return moving forward via back testing. Also a commentary for the PM complex, combo complex and zero DT folks. Obviously, uh, we'll be looking at 4,500. It's extremely important level moving into the end of the month with the uh, commentary that surrounds uh, that level. We'll go ahead and jump right into the PM settled. PM settled, all expiries turned on. Uh, obviously, spot price finished uh, significantly above the transition, which is good. Uh, moving right up to that 4,500 level. We are in the money and out of the money call dominated, which has been a market structure change that we've been watching over the past three to four days, uh, really since last Friday. Uh, we started seeing some movement uh, in the uh, calls coming into the complex and the uh, puts moving out of the complex. I believe we were pretty well positioned and ahead of that. So make sure this uh, you understand what we were looking at uh, last week, transition into this week, and then continue through today. Uh, above us, we see 4550, where the negative uh, net deltas would start coming in if we move up to that level. 4500 will be extremely important today as we head into the end of the month. 45.25 is a quarter level uh, delta uh, node that we'll be watching uh, extremely, um, we'll be keeping an eye on it as we move up towards that level if we do. Downside, obviously wanna stay above transition 44.50 to 44.45 uh, to keep the uh, forward momentum. Uh, I would uh, look at 44.50 as a demand level on the downside and you pull back to that level. I would look for opportunistic to get long the market if the CT um, is still showing a uh, forward uh, movement and staying above the short term ribbons and then moving above the colored ribbon. Obviously below that 4400 is extremely important level, uh, 6.6 .6, uh, billion uh, net delta sitting down there. So that would be a kind of a lie in the sand if we saw a significant weakness and a move down towards that level. Um, so takeaway is uh, above and below um, spot price, we are call dominated and then transition is below us. We wanna stay above that to uh, continue to have forward momentum in the market. And we'd like to see this transition start moving up under spot price. Um, and that will uh, indicate that more calls are coming into the complex. And then we'll uh, have a chance to move up towards this 45.50. Uh, zero DT for today, uh, narrow transition. We discussed 44.75, 44.80 yesterday. And the, as the plus one DT, again, 4,500 will be extremely important to move above. Uh, short term time frame, we'll be watching the vol U vol D command intraday. You can see the negative net delta start to come in uh, around 45.25 to 45.30. That may give us a little bit of stalling and then significant negative net deltas come in at 45.60. We discussed 45.50 on the uh, PM settled. All expiries turned on. So again, you can see the low, uh, low delta exposure there as we move into those negative net deltas. I would anticipate this to cause stalling if we moved above the 45.25 level, but this will uh, be a little bit slower trudge up to there as you see uh, negative net deltas come in and positive net deltas, uh, low exposure there. Um, so not a significant amount, unless we see targeting on the ball D and volume command uh, significant above 45.25 to move us up this way. Uh, downside 45.50 there sitting pretty important. Uh, any weakness, we'd have to move back below transition and down to 44.50. So that would uh, give you a little bit of pause on the forward movement. Uh, of the market, again, need to stay above transition. We'd like to see transition move up and uh, uh, park right below that 4,500 for today, depending on where we stay at. Uh, any pullback into this transition would be an opportunity to get along the market, uh, as long as CT and uh, tick are staying in a positive uh, direction. Uh, plus one DT end of the month. Uh, we noted this yesterday, Paul and I in the afternoon, I posted a little bit uh, a live where Paul and I were discussing this. 4,500 significant, we have if this, then this, if we are above it um, or below it, depending on if we're in the money or out of the money, make sure you check that commentary out on the SPX. 
Um, plus one DT, we have significant more amount of puts coming in. These are uh, in the money puts above us. We do have in the money calls below us, so this is supportive type action. Uh, but end of the month, all of these will be expiring. Uh, this will be expiring also. So depending on where spot price is, if, the, if this is in the money or out of the money, how that will affect uh, dealer adjustment as our book will be getting longer or shorter depending on where spot price is and the dealer will have to adjust accordingly. So make sure you understand that and uh, ask questions into the end of the month. Um, again, 44.60 on the downside, we noted 44.70 to 44.75, but 44.60 uh, on uh, plus one DT possible demand level as we pull up and down. Uh, moving moving higher towards the end of the month will probably be dampened quite a bit up to 45.50 as you can see as these in the money puts uh, are above us um, and negative net deltas unless we see a significant evaporation or closing of these and targeting versus uh, via the vol u vol d command uh, balance of the week uh, to friday uh, transition very well defined here we discussed that 44.50 to the downside 44.75 and 44.80 Obviously, we need to see price spot price stay above that transition, positive transition to look to move up. Again, 45.50 the upside. We see some negative net deltas come in, 45.25, which we've already discussed on uh, other expiries, and then 45.50 the upside would most likely be our uh, supply level causing stalling into that, unless we see just a complete evaporation of these puts, which into Friday. Um, not anticipatory um, these would still expire into friday um, but again in the money call dominated below us positive gamma means we're in the money and out of the money call dominated uh, so significant amount of support and liquidity below us um, in any pullback or any weakness in the market i'd be looking to get long uh, versus the uh, transition area and if tick stays in a positive uh, state bolded ct above the uh, moving averages um, all expiries turned on combo complex transition widens out uh, a little bit there significant uh, 4420 to 4495 what's nice is the transition level is coming right up under spot price here um, this obviously may narrow as we uh, go out go on through the week depending on where spot price is uh, of significant note though we are in the money and out of the money call dominated this is a large uh, expiry and the combo complex this is everything so significant amount of money involved in the uh, combo complex uh, you can see where the negative net deltas come in, really a confluence between that 25 and 30 we discussed on the other expiries, and then targeting 45.50 as positive delta, and then 45.75. Um, so expectation for us to move higher up to 4,600 would be that we need to see these in the money uh, puts begin to close, fill in with green call speculation and positive deltas. And that would really keep us on the forward track and momentum all the way up to 4,600. So as of now, 4,500, extremely important. We are there, um, 4,525 and then 4,550 would be our short-term targets. And then for long-term targets, uh, 4,600 above if uh, these uh, puts um, start to uh, evaporate or uh, close and we see that filled in with um, positive uh, call delta. Downside, we have multiple delta nodes below us that will provide a liquidity and demand. Um, really just mark those on your charts. 44.50 again, we've uh, discussed that one on the downside as we really kind of oscillated around that for multiple days and then moved up from that. 43 billion net delta there, significant amount of OI. Um, so that would kind of be my line in the sand to the downside. Um, and then the next would be 4,400, 77 billion net delta, 500. So really we're, we're uh, filling a nice floor below us with uh, positive uh, delta and calls uh, that will be supportive unless we just see some uh, exogenous event or collapse uh, overall. Um, so really, really changing to a bullish state, supportive uh, into uh, end of the month and into September if the CT continues to uh, cooperate and uh, we'll probably most likely see some moving up uh, again stalling though as we move into these uh, positive or these negative net deltas we need to see these close and flip to a few weeks ago where we saw it totally green uh, dominated above and below spot price uh, landscape view um, negative gex has stayed at 4300 we filled in this liquidity below us so we've been discussing with puts uh, plus gex seems to be growing here at 4600 which is a bullish development and again, call speculation alive and well uh, above 4,600 all the way out to 5,000. Uh, so again, this is maintained through that whole pullback that we were seeing and that market structure change, uh, which let us know that uh, the uh, call speculation was not throwing in the towels. So it was probably most likely gonna be a short-lived pullback event, even though it was a little bit uh, deeper than some anticipated. Um, but we uh, marked that out that 4,300 to 4,400 
would be good levels. Um, I think we reached down to that 4350, 4330 level. Um, but again, call speculation above us uh, keeps the uh, bullish state and uh, plus GEX 4600 uh, most likely would be the nice uh, looking target uh, above us. Uh, tick uh, rebounded nicely again and railroad track up. Uh, tick US here. It was nice to see the filtered tick live above zero line and really expand out to uh, plus 78,000. This is institutional plus 1,000 minus 1,000 ticks. So institutions were definitely involved yesterday. Cumulative tick reached up to the 200,000s. This is very strong. Um, we're starting to see a change in the red slope as the CT has crossed above. So this will change to a positive slope if it continues to live above. And then we wanna see the uh, bolded CT emerge out above the cyan, which would begin changing the cyan to a positive slope and then uh, lead us to a market model ribbon flip, which would be our long-term market model changing to an on state. ARCX. Uh, we saw the bolded CT start to poke out above the uh, cyan line. So if it continues to live above here, uh, in or above, this will change the cyan to a, a positive state. The red is already in a positive slope turning back up. So we'd like to see this compress. The red will go closer to the cyan and then that would lead to a market uh, model flip. Colored ribbon, which would be a long-term market model. Uh, once the long-term market model turns on, uh, can have a significant move up and uh, uh, positive outcomes uh, with our tag combos. Make sure you understand those and check those. We have all those listed out uh, in Notion. We have those listed out also. Um, I can show those here. Here's our Notion document, um, Gamma Lab. Uh, all of the uh, references are here, uh, links. And here's our tick description of tick tag combos, uh, all laid out with the commentary. And then uh, also the um, the uh, corresponding charts with what those tag combos correspond to. Uh, hopefully that helps everybody. Um, hopefully everybody has a great day. Let us know if you need anything. We'll be in the Discord in just a few minutes and uh, make it a great Wednesday. Thanks. Bye.